Hey guys, Colton here with Cypher Data Solutions. Last video we talked about Azure Purview and how to set up the account and go through and set up some initial data scans on some of your data sources. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you all a bit about setting up custom classifications and scan rule sets. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and open up your Azure Purview account um, by going to web.purview.azure.com. Um, and then select whichever account you want to work in. Um, so first thing we need to do is go over to the management center here. Okay, so there are two things that we need to set up here. The first is the actual classification that's going to be applied to your metadata when the engine scans your data sources. And then the second one is the classification rule that tells the engine when to apply those classifications. So let's go ahead and create a classification. So you'll see all of Microsoft's default classifications here. Now it took me a little while to figure out how to remove these from my scans because I don't do any business in Argentina, but it by default provides an Argentinian national ID number, um, which I don't need. And so I tried to come in here, tried to click delete, tried to delete it through the API, nothing was working. But I have a solution for that later in the video whenever we talk about the, the scan rule sets. So for now, if you look at custom, you'll see that we don't have any. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and create a new one. And this one's gonna be called account number because we're gonna be checking to see when the account number um, from the adventure works. System. All right, so now we can create the classification rule. All right, and so we'll come in here, new one. We'll also call this account number, but you'll notice this one's not gonna let us do a space. Um, so we're gonna have to remove that space. And it's gonna be associated with our custom account number. Now you can upload a file that has a list of valid values that it can look up against. Um, but we don't want that in the scenario. We want to use a regular expression. So you click continue. Um, now this is pretty cool. So it allows you to upload a file that has the, um, some example data in it to, to, to suggest what regular expressions to use. So I did that. I just put together a simple file. The file has to have at least three columns. Um, but in this scenario, I'm only looking at one column. So I just created essentially a duplicate, an account number, a second account number that's exact same, and another column called not an account number that's missing the first digit. So this not an account number should not be classified as an account number. Um, and so we can choose either of these first two. Um, they're the exact same regular expressions. So we're going to add that to the patterns. You notice it populates here. Now the distinct data values threshold is how many, how many values it must match, how many distinct values it must match on in order to make this classification. So you can say that it's gotta be done at least, let's say 10 times in order to classify this. Um, in our scenario, I think 10 sounds good. So we'll go ahead and, and put that in there to 10. All right, and then essentially what's the threshold? Um, what percentage of values must match? Um, we can leave this at the default at 60%. Um, now you can also apply a regular expression to the column name. Um, so in our scenario, we wanna use anything that is not, or that's that essentially anything that has ACC in it. So that way, if it's shortcutted to ACCT number or just account or whatever. Um, so I've provided a regular expression there. And now it'll, it gives you the place to test your classification rule. Um, so we're gonna upload the exact same account numbers file here and we'll see what comes out. All right, so that's interesting. This classification no longer exists. This is one that I that I made earlier and deleted it. Um, but 
Okay, so that, that's good to know. It'll be interesting to see if that actually applies to any of our data whenever we set up the scan for it. But it looks like it's classifying the account numbers properly with our actual classification. Um, so we'll just click OK here, and then we can go, to, go ahead and create that classification rule. So let's go back to our sources, and I'm going to go ahead and set up a scan, just a one-time scan of that sales order header table where I got the data from, um, just to see how it classifies it now. All right, and so we don't want to we don't want to scan everything because that'll take too long. Um, so we're just gonna scan the sales order header table. So we're gonna click continue. All right, and this is what I was talking about with the custom rule sets. So by default, you just have the one rule set for your Azure SQL database, but you can go in and click new scan rule set. Um, and so I'm gonna give this a Cypher Data Solutions rule set. So this is, this is our custom rule set that does not have any international classifications. All right, and then I've got to take out the spaces here. All right, and continue. All right, and then so this is where we can come in and you can hand pick which classifications you want to include in this rule set. Um, so for here, we don't want most of the government. Um, there were really only a few in here, country, region that we want. Um, and let's see. We also wanted to pull in the, all of the U.S. values since we're a U.S. company. Um, and we don't work with international customers. Um, and also the world series cities. Um, and then we also want to pull in our custom rule. All right, so we've created that rule set. So we're going to use that for the scan. Click continue. We're just going to run it once right now. All right, save and run. And then we'll see how that actually works out and see how it classifies that account number now. Okay, so our scan's completed, so let's go in. Um, so you can act, we can actually just search this uh, sales order header. Nope. If I could spell. Okay, great. So the table has the, our account number classification on it. And if we go in and look at the schema, you can see that it is indeed the account number field that got classified. So success there. So I also wanted to show you one other way to get in and, up and set up that rule set. Um, so if you go to Management Center and go to Scan Rule Sets here, um, you'll see under Custom, the one that we created, and notice that it's only applying to that one source type. Because we created it when we were setting up a scan for one of our Azure SQL databases. So if you wanted to apply this to um, let's say an on-prem SQL ser server as well, you would need to come in and create another rule set that applies to SQL Server. Um, and then you can name it something slightly different um, and set it up the exact same way. But, but yeah, there you go, right there in the scan rule sets. You can also just come here so that way you don't have to set up a scan each time you want to create a new rule set. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope this was able to help you get past one of the more challenging things and confusing things that I found whenever I was setting up my Azure Purview instance. Uh, but be sure to come back next week as we dive more in depth into different functionality inside of Purview. Um, and be sure to give the video a like and comment below what you'd like us to cover next. Thanks.